Welcome to the channel, we're Kayleen and Mark, and today we're talking about Niagara Falls. But if you're heading to Niagara Falls, you must stop at Niagara on the lake. It's a town in southern Ontario. It sits on the shores of Lake Ontario at the mouth of the Niagara River. Now, this is a flower-filled, tree-lined old town, features 19th century buildings, mainly along Queen Street, and near the river, 19th century Fort George was built by the British to defend against American attacks. There are plenty of wineries to choose from, but we stopped at this Reef Estate Winery where we did a blind wine tasting and Mark won and got this gorgeous little bottle opener. The streets are gorgeous, we've been there in winter and in summer, it is just so picturesque. And then as you're heading out of town, you must then stop at the beautiful lookout where you can see the Niagara Whirlpool. Now this huge volume of water rushes over Niagara Falls, is crushed into the narrow gorge creating the Whirlpool Rapids. The Niagara Whirlpool is formed at the end of the rapids where the gorge turns abruptly counterclockwise. The river abrupt changes in direction creates the world's most mesmerizing natural phenomenon. Now we come to Canada's must-do signature attraction is the Hornblower uh, Niagara Cruise. This voyage to the Falls boat tour brings you on a journey of a lifetime. Stunning views of the Niagara Gorge, the American side, the bridal veils fall, and then you come face to face with the famous Canadian Horseshoe Falls. You feel the thundering roar, the awesome power, and the amazing mist that comes along with these natural wonders. It's not doesn't run in winter time, so when we were there, we were actually there around September. So we didn't mind the mist. So I hope you enjoy this. Hi Wayne. Hi Kayleen. Hey baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> How awesome is that? Get an oh my gosh! They got the water So as you can see, we certainly had a lot of fun. If you go go on the Canada side and do the Hornblower cruises, it is just fantastic. You can then, once you're finished, walk up the top and walk along the paths and you can see the top of the Horseshoe Falls and you can get a total different view. It is just breathtaking. And like I've said, we've been there in summer and we've been there in winter. Uh, if you have a look, the link above, that will show you when we were there in winter. It's a completely different look. Of course, we did different things. We've also done the US side, which I highly recommend that as well. It was fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed. So as I was looking up more information, I found some fun Niagara fun facts. So I'll share this with you while you enjoy some of our images from Niagara Falls. So the height of the Canadian Falls is 170 feet, which is 52 meters. The estimated crest line is 167 meters wide. The depth of the river at the base of the falls is 56 meters. And the depth of the Niagara River is less than the depth of the falls. Uh, the Canadian side of the falls was first called as Horseshoe in 1721. So there's a few little facts. So we'd love you to hit the like button and love you to subscribe and thanks so much for watching.